Hey, Messy Gaming here, and I'm bringing you a scary game called Gone Home. Shoutouts to ExoFamer and XXS. They recently played this game, and they uh, told me about it. So I'm going to start on in, and I hope I scream a lot. Walk using L3, and look around using R3. Alright, start. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. June 7th, 1995, 1 a.m. <sighs> Alright, looks like I'm home. Um, I have my bags from the airport. Um, oh, we got something here. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please, don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. The door is locked. Um, okay. We got something here. Open. Grab Christmas duck. Use L2 or the up arrow to examine held object. 599. Take house key. Press L1 to check the contents of your backpack. Alright. Oof. That was creepy. Um. And very slowly. Turn on. Um, what is this? Stephen King Author Magazine. Alright, what is this? Oh, toilet paper. I'll save that for later. Now let's leave that off. It'll creep me out later. Um... I'll go upstairs later. Uh, for now, I guess we'll go over here. Oh, there's a lamp here. Can I turn that on? Yeah, yeah, I can. Um. All right. Well, uh, I'm not a very big on cursive, cursive, so uh, I won't read this. I'll try to read as much as I can, but if it's over one page, then I'm probably not gonna read it. I don't want this video, uh, don't want this video to be an hour long. Ooh, a skull. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, door. It's locked. Can I run? Pull string. What do we got in here? Do we, is there anything in here? No. Over the Alps. Destruction. Um. Is a lamp here? What's in here? We know. 
Um, it's a map. Closed drawer. What the fuck was that? It might just me be, be me, but I swear to God, I just heard creeping. Um... Alright, looks like that was the message at the beginning of the game. Um, open door. Turn on the light. Question mark. Private, do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. Yeah, this is too long. It's just a, um... I'm guessing a rough copy of a novel. Take second combo scrap. Turn passing first. Second number. Half of Sam's locker combo added to backpack. Alright, well I guess that was pretty lucky. Probably wouldn't have seen that. Uh, press options. Oh, a map. Um, where am I? Uh, I guess I'm the purple. Yeah, I'm the purple. Need a vegetary. Who's this? Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to go in there. Sam and Buck making friends. Sam thought this might help Dad. You know that feeling where at the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk. But sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter every day after school. <clears throat> Terry. Hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi, Africonodo, has... Too much re review work to do. Go around and he's cooking for an, uh, another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your cast letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher. Alright, so I'm just going to guess Mike. I saw Mike at the bottom. Do it, Mike. No, do it, Mike. It's from Mike. And it's to Terry. And I'm just guessing it's Terry's my dad since this is right next to it. It's that bad, it's that book Dad wrote. 
So dad is an author. Pulse. Read story. Having a at the edge of the world. Samantha Greenbringer grade. Story: The Turtle Cropple Part One. So this is my sister's work. Anything I'm missing? Nope. What's in here? It's nothing. Um. Grab matchbook. There's nothing in there. Don't know why this is even here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Grab cassette. Ah, yeah, that's nothing. The X Files. I have soda can. Can you drink this? No, you can't. Ooh, pizza. Oh, nope. Alright, what's in here? Button. Ratmobile. Anything on the other side? Nope. Poltergeist. Hauntings and poltergeists. Leonardo O. Rocri found out the truth behind the stories that were familiar even in our pagan ancestors. Discovering how to tell a hoax from a genuine haunting. How to categorize and understand strange phenomena you may encounter. Learn about the unhappy spirits that share the earth with us and what they te can teach us about our connection with the natural world. Oh crap. Hmm. Am I missing anything? What's this? That's nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, that's nothing. Oh! Examine ticket? Oh, that's nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, let's go to the next room. Spent way too much time in that room. Before we go down here, let's go in here. This is really creepy. Is there a light switch? Yes, there is. Wait a second. This room looks a lot larger with the lights off. Um. Closed drawer. Grab throwing binder. Nothing. Wish I could get a flashlight. It's so dark in this house. What's this? Oh, it's just an electrical inspection form. Alright, what's this? Oh, I need a combination. I need a combination. What's this? Grab crumpled pages. Who's trying to write something? Throw it to the ground. 
Where have I heard that before? Hey, what is this? No, oh, that's nothing. What is this, a library? Accidental. Are these all the same thing? Where am I right now? Oh, I'm right next to Dad's office. I'm in the library. Fresh. Was this crap? Oh, it's coaster. Gosh, Dad! Gentlemen, J Japan's bloody war on dolphins. God, Dad. Um. Oh, yeah, we didn't go over here. Something right here. Hmm. Ooh, save 25 cents. National Forest Manual. What's in here? Oh, this looks dark. Alright, it was nothing. Got a lamp here. Any more lights anywhere? Got a lamp here. Yeah, that's nothing. I, I know what that is. That's a pencil. Alright, what's in here? Oh, it's dark in here. Grab lid and throw it to the ground. Oh, these are records? I thought they were books. This house is huge. Read note. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of for... It's kind of far, but I can drive you home too, so hopefully... That's fine. Right back and and leave this in my locker, if you still want to, and we can meet a lot after six. Uh, Samantha. Yeah, I am totally in. See you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. Come on, yeah. So you know, you what, know they what they say, they about, say the about the best, best light plans, plans of mice, mice and men. And yeah, yeah turns, turns out it applies, applies to Street, street Fighter too. too. At least, at least I worked, I worked up, up the courage, courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. I don't know what that was all about. What is this? Oh yeah, zero five zero four five one. All 
Alright, zero, four, five, one. There, that was easier said than done. Dear Mr. Masson, please find and close your original document and typed copy for your records. The notorious copy has been filled at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our film with the important matter, our firm. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise, Kublik and Wise, attorney at law. Well, I can't read that, so I'm not gonna do that. Anything else? Nope. What is this again? Yeah, I've already seen that. Can you read this? I think I'm missing something. What's this? Stranger under my roof. Hmm. For some reason, I got the number 1963 in my head. Wonder where, where did I see that? Did I see that in this game? I think I saw that in this game. Yeah. Um, I can't go over there, so. Oh, this is creepy. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Oh, it's just a pack of cards. Alright, so that was creepy for what? Nothing. Whew. What's this? Notice of temporary personal transfer. Weekly planner. I can't read that. The cursive is just, just too much. Am I missing anything? Doesn't look like it. That to me. Oh. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour. And took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. Hmm. I keep picking up three of them binders. Oh. Is there another cassette player around here or do I have to go all the way back downstairs? Oh. here large board game Let's bowl what do we got here the king's labyrinth no what is this the holy bible 
missing anything? Nope. Something under this pillow. Hi Lonnie, I wrote this in the first period and left it in your locker on the way to second. It's what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided to write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw. Two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What's all this cool kids cool actually doing? It's seduing each other. Pages and their beepers. But we're cooler than them because guess what? They can't put this on a beeper. Hmm. Alright, that's nothing. What is that? The brother of 150. Oh, she got a bad grade and she hit it from everyone. Hmm. Turn on. Open this. Groove. What is this? Another groove. What is this? Oh, it's a video game. Super Spitfire. And Journey of Crystal. Oh. Wait, didn't I get the code for this? Yeah, here it is. Five zero one. So these numbers are five zero one. Five zero one. What is this? Is it one? Start at zero. Oh nope, not ah. First try. Oh, she's been smoking cigarettes. Oh my god. Samantha. With good tastes. Oh. The key. Basement key added to back bag. Everything was different. She was sitting at my desk chair and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think, but I said no, there was nothing wrong, I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words, it felt like I was going to cry, but I wasn't sad, she got up and sat next to me on the bed, I looked at her, Lonnie, do you think you could ever And that's when, when she, she kissed, kissed me. me. <laughs> so I'm guessing Bonnie and Katie are lesbians? And I'm Katie and the other girl's Bonnie or Lonnie. Oh, what is this? Is this my parents' room? They are slobs. What is this? I'm not reading that. Oh, another throwing binder. Was that a bookmark? Uh, a book. Oh, what's this? Take your time. I'm glad 70 had it in good hands, Rick. Uh, that lightning scared me. What's this? That's nothing. Go in here. Why are all the lights off? It's so dark.
looks like I got everything in here. Um, I'm gonna go to the next room. All right, I came from that way. I think there was something over here. How was this? No. Movie or something. I don't know if something will happen if I turn on the water, so I just do it anyways. Oh my god! Well, someone died. Oh, <laughs> uh, red right hand. Wild color. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched this scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? That moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. <clears throat> Alright, so my sister, the, her room here, for me to sleep in, I guess. Um, there's lots of boxes in here. You know, Katie. A lamp. What is this? Hey, Sam, you were asking what my erotic ribbons meant here. Is a handy guide. Hmm. That's nothing. What's in here? I nothing. Oh, it looks it like there's something down there. What we got here? Is there a tape somewhere around here? Oh, yep. <laughs> Alright, well that hurt my ears. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. So apparently there's a secret passageway in the library. What was this? Oh, well that's kind of cool. She's painting. Um, oh yeah, that's right. I gotta listen to that. Oh, it's really creepy over here. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Oh, I can't do it anyways. It's locked. Yeah, I went over there. Uh, there was, I know there was a room I didn't go in. Who was over here? Was it over here? No, that's the start. Was it in here? It's the bathroom. What's in here? I didn't no, you can't open those. What is this? The mitten. I don't know what that is. Oh yep. 
Looks like a backpack. Oof, oh my god. That lightning scares me. I was already down here. Um, I was already down there. Where am I? Oh yeah, that's right, the library. It was a secret passage. Which way is the library again? Wasn't it upstairs? No, I think it was downstairs. I wasn't in here before. Welcome, new student. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school. And there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. Great. fuck was that? Swear to God, I just heard footsteps. Well, I'm looking for the secret entrance. What do I have to do? Pull a book or something? I'm pretty sure there's... Oh. <sighs> I'm getting creeped out. Alright, um, oh look, I got a, a crucifix. <gasps> oh my god! It's, a, it's, what the heck just happened? It won't let me turn it back on. <sighs> Alright, uh, library, it looks like these, what are these, all secret evidence? Secret, um, entrances? Hidden compartments. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know what the heck just happened there. The light just shut off when I grabbed the crucifix. What was that? Do I still have it? Do I not have it? What, what did it say? Is it gone? I have to still have it. It's gone. The, cru the crucifix is gone. Did I drop it on the floor? What is this place? Is I already here? I think I was already here. How did that crucifix go? So weird. But yeah, that's right. I got the key to the basement too. Oh, that was so creepy. Alright, where's this? So there's one in the library. Um, there's one right next to my room, and there's one near the foyer. If I'm saying that right. So there's one in here somewhere. Alright, let's look. Is it over here? <gasps> yep. The Misfits. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so... I don't know. Nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. 
I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Alright, so there's supposed to be a secret one in here somewhere. At least that's what I think it said. What is this? There's a question mark there and it made noises. Alright, can I get in here now? No, it's still locked. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the key to the basement. Oof, who's this? That lightning is really creeping me out. Is there one in here? I know that whenever I enter a new room, I should check these things. There were two so far. Second there, I thought I found one. Oh yeah, I already checked in here. I, that's where I got one of them. I'll check in here. There's any, nope, there's none in here. Check over here. This is really creeping me out. I'm going downstairs. Um, there's a light here. Slowly. Alright. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's just a drawing. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Now when we get off the phone, or go home for the night, or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. So I want to learn about Oscar. I, uh, there was a secret entrance to his room. I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing. And I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. So, Lonnie is joining the army. What's us do here. This room is creepy. Let me go in here first. It doesn't look like there's going to be any jump scares. It's really creepy, though. What is this? What is this? Go here, nope. Mana's pharmacy changes hands. Alright, well, that's creepy. Uh, the other place is less creepy, so we'll go in there first. That place is really creepy. Um. What the heck is this?
97141. That must be a code for something. 97141. What's this? Whose room is this? I swear to God, I just heard something walking behind me. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm gonna be at every single show. All right, you guys. Looks like I just found a safe and um, 1963. This is the second time I've seen this number, and I'm pretty sure that it's either 1963 or it's one of these three numbers. And this is the second time I've seen this number. So let's put it in the safe and see if it works. And it did. Oh, I got a trophy. Intuitive. Grab a bottle. Hydrogen. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's some real mess. That's some real. That's some really. Return to sender. Ah, oh, crap. I can't read this. Oh no, there's some really strong stuff in here. Solution for a morphine warning. Maybe I have it. Poison. This is poison. Who's that behind it? Who's this? Oh my god. Whoever is here is a drug addict. Yeah, I cannot read this. What is this? Yeah, whoever lives here is a drug addict. Um, a safe. So what's down here? It's so dark. Grab toy. It's a horse. Is there anything else in here? Grab scrap. Yeah, this curve is just, it's too hard to read. I'll figure out what it says next episode if there is a next episode. There's wood in here for some reason. Now I don't remember seeing a fireplace. Who's this? Guest room. The library doesn't have one. The guest room. Have I been there already? Is there a cassette tape somewhere around here? I didn't, did I already check under this? Yeah, I already checked under that. Oh, here we are. A cassette tape. Girl Scout. Did I already listen to this? That was so terrible. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. The 
sync doesn't work. So whose room is this? <gasps> oh, wait a second. There was a name over here. Terry. So what is this, Terry's room? Hey, right, where's that really creepy place? There it is. Look around, make sure I'm not missing anything. So whoever lived in there was a real, real big drug addict. There's some stairs here. What is that? I thought I saw someone standing there, but there was nothing. Oh, it's really creepy up here. I don't get Lonnie sometimes. Like, her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said, they don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like, it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to, like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing, though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. What is this? Did Lonnie make this? Um, Captain A and something else? Getting Lonnie out of the backpack. It looks like they made their own comic book. Oh, here we are. Who's this? Heavening to Bestie. Is there a cassette tape around here? Oh my god. I just heard a creak. There's no secret engines up here. Oh, it's my room. What is this? One... G63? Is there a cassette tape in here? Here we are. I hate this music. All the music that these people play suck. Oh my god, well, oh, it was just a shelf. I keep getting scared for no reason. And that lightning scares me too. Alright, what's over here in this dark, dark corner? Another secret entrance? Alright, I haven't been here yet. Dash for that light. Whew. And SPO. Not for promotion. So you wouldn't rather live with your. Hmm. There's something here. What is this? Earth, wind, and fire. Oh, it's a concert ticket. Oh, God. These rooms are so dark. What is this? That was nothing. Something about a skull. That's the thing I saw in the other room. What do we got going on in here? Nothing. What is this? Oh, mom's purse. Examine pamphlet. 
What is this? They have a lot of pictures here. Another one. <sighs> we need more lights. Sounds like a good, good title. Anything else on the table? Nope. Um, anything in here? Nope. What's this? Congratulations. Oh my god, is it, why is it so dark in this one room? I don't like being in scary places. Grab a cassette. Why are there so many songs here? Oh, here we are. The light switch. Let's go through here first. You know, they have a huge house. I wish my house was this big. Then again, it would be pretty scary. Alright, can we open these? I saw shadow. What is this? Crab box? No, I'm hungry. I want something to eat. What is this? Hmm. Oh, this is creepy too. Just one red cup. How come, like, all the pizza boxes are empty? Can you call people? Alright, let's see. What is this? Read letter. New position. Running three binder. That's nothing. Anything up here? Nope. Wait, what is that? A little piece of paper sticking out, but it was nothing. This room is so creepy, too. Alright, what do we got here? I just, the accidental Pumara. That's nothing. Way too long to read. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's nothing. I asked Bonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked, he asked what was, what was wrong, wrong, and I was, and I was thinking, thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then oh, how sorry crap. I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. And for some reason, I almost believed him. I totally forgot. I was supposed to be looking at these. So I'll just go run through here quick now and look at these. See if there's any panels here. Is there anything I didn't miss? What is this? Is this? No, that's not the right place. Thought it was something else.
What is this? Do I find this? Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. And she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. And I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing until my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. So I just found a green room. Um, I'll go in there once I check through here. Oh right, yeah, let's go through. Looks like I just checked all of them. Hmm. See what do we got. Make sure we don't miss anything. Strong pines. Nothing. The accidental human. This guy like there's something wrong with this guy in the word accidental. Got like four or five different things. I would not weird read something called the accidental human. I might read something called accidental warrior. That sounds interesting. Become a warrior by accident. What is this? It's nothing. What is this? Where we'll do it. Midnight, June 5th. Final preparations are complete. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with him. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up. Alone. All right, guys. Looks like there's a hidden pathway under that staircase that I just came up. But I think I'm forgetting. I never got to look up here for any secret panels, so I'm doing that right now. Probably not gonna find anything though. What's in here again? All right, just bedroom. Going in here is really creepy, and the, the rain is really creepy too. And the thunder. The thunder is the creepiest. And the attic. The attic is also pretty creepy. Everything about this game is creepy, but nothing scary has happened yet. Yeah, I already checked on this side. Um, did I close this? I don't remember closing it. Yeah, 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 I did close it. Well, it looks like there's no secret panels up here. There's nothing in there.
All right, well, let's go for the stairs, I guess. Did I get everything that I needed? I don't know if this is going to be the last part or not. <sighs> I really hope something scary happens. Open panel. Alright, well that opened really fast. Alright, looks like there's nothing really in here. Oh my god. Satanic cult. Who's this? Who is this? Is that the father? It's Oscar. Oh, this is Oscar? What is this? Possessions and ex ex exorcisms? Oh, key. Key to the attic. The sunset light in this house. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running out. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. <sighs> Got some candles here. Like they were trying to summon Satan or something or Oscar. So I'm guessing that room I was in was Oscar's or it was Terry's. I don't know who Terry is. But maybe Oscar, that, that's the best thing I can think of. Maybe he overdosed on some drugs. And they were trying to summon him back. But it's weird because I thought Oscar was like a little kid. Go in here and see if I didn't leave anything. Alright, where was I? Oh yeah, the attic. Make sure I didn't leave anything. It's nothing. Yeah. I swear, I've, there must have been more panels than just two. I think it was. Yeah, I only got half the code. Oh, I'm already here. Well, I guess it don't matter. I'm guessing that the attic is probably the final spot in the house. Hmm. Yeah, am I? I'm not. I don't think I'm missing anything. <gasps> Grab loose panel. I was right. Oh, the Ouija board. You guys don't, you don't think. What, what would happen if I brought, brought that back down to that board? Oh my god, I, I don't, I can't summon a demon, can I? I'm gonna bring it back down there. Too bad those matches weren't there, maybe I can light the candles. But they were empty. Yeah, you don't think. No, nothing. Oscar, come to me. Who are you? I don't know. Yeah, put this up here. So what, it doesn't work? Hmm. What if I turn it around? Yeah, just like that. Oh, Oscar! No, nope, looks like it didn't work. Wouldn't have been crazy if it did. Alright, let's get to the attic.
Oh my god. Alright, no, never mind. That was nothing. I was just joking. Just wanted to see if I can surprise you guys. Well, it's unlocked. Alright. One, two, three. So what was in the attic? Got a bowl. A letter. Sam, I I'll always remember what we had. Stay strong, I love you, Lonnie. Kick ass. Oh my god. Katie. Uh, I fell asleep in the attic. In Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just, I just barely, barely caught the third one before the machine, machine got it. it. And it was Lonnie. On, on a payphone. She'd, she'd been on the bus to basic, basic and, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. And, and that she couldn't, she couldn't go through, through with it. With, it, with the, the army, army and being a part and all of it. And, and so she got, got off the bus, bus in Salem. Salem. She, she said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. I said, yes. Added to pack back. Pack, pack. What is this? Photo paper. She has a lot of photo paper. Alright, guys, I think this is the end of the game. I don't know. I'm gonna go check. There's something over here. It's kind of creepy. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. I thought I was dating Londa, or Londi, whatever her name was. Who was I dating? Was I dating Sam, or was I dating Londi, or Londa? Am I Sam, or am I Londa? What the heck? by Fulbright. Well, it looks like that was the end of the game. Um, if you like this game, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, looks like this is just a cutscene, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, check with me later. I might post a couple more videos. So, AK Gamer, ouch.